Today on Cooking with Kyle, we will be making creamsicle orange cake mix cookies. So the first thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And we need half a cup of butter uh, according to the recipe. And so that is eight tablespoons, which is one stick. So we're gonna use one stick and get it in the bowl to melt. Because the recipe says it needs to be softened butter. So I'm not gonna melt it all the way. I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave just a bit to soften it. And now I have softened butter. So in my mixing bowl, I'm gonna pour my softened butter and I'm gonna add in my egg. Okay, I feel like we need to just take a second and appreciate how awesome that one-handed egg crack was. Then we'll put in eight ounces of cream cheese and a half of a teaspoon of orange extract. Now the recipe says to beat this um, with a, an electric mixer until it's smooth, but I don't have an electric mixer, so I guess I'm gonna have to be doing this and it might take me a while, so see you soon. Now that's not totally smooth, but I'm going to mix it some more here in a second, so I'm going to call that smooth enough. So now the next thing is to add in my cake mix. This is orange cake mix. And so that just said to use the whole box. So now I need to mix it well. So I've switched to a fork here because it's really powdery. And when I'm using the whisk, the powder was just starting to go everywhere. So I'm using a fork to mix it. Okay, so now I've got it mixed together. And now there's an optional step of the um, recipe and that's to add orange food coloring, but I don't have any orange food coloring, so I'm gonna skip that. So now we're gonna take our white chocolate morsels and we're going to mix them in as well. And it says we need one cup of that. So one cup and I'll mix those in. Okay, oh, oops, oh darn. I guess I have to put in some more chocolate chips. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so if you didn't catch that, I intentionally put those chocolate chips in there because I wanna make sure that I get lots of chocolate chips in all of these cookies. All right, so looks like we've got it mixed up pretty well. So the next thing I'm supposed to do is chill this dough in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, which is okay. Normally that would annoy me, but uh, apparently I didn't hit start a minute ago when I went to preheat the oven. So I just started it just a minute ago, so it's not ready anyway. So I'm gonna put these, this dough, in the refrigerator to chill for a little while. All right, so it's only been about 15 minutes, but my oven's preheated. I've kind of cleaned up and done the dishes. And so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. So the next thing we're gonna do is, it says to use a cup of powdered sugar, but I'm not measuring it out because who cares? So I'm gonna go get my dough. So here we have our dough and it's been cooled. It's set up a little bit. I'm assuming the reason you cool it is because um, then it won't be so sticky. 
So you're supposed to take a cookie scoop and whatever, but I don't have a cookie scoop, so I'm just gonna use my hands. I've cleaned my hands. And I'm gonna, it says that this is supposed to make 24 cookies. So it says to roll them into 24 balls. I don't know how many it's actually gonna make, but I'm gonna make my balls about that big. And then I'm gonna roll my balls in this powdered sugar mixture. And then here I have a powdered sugar ball. And I'm gonna set and line up all of my balls on this cookie sheet. Um, and it says that you should line that with parchment paper, but you know, I don't have any parchment paper. So I'm gonna put my balls straight on the sheet and uh, see what happens. And I don't know how far apart I should place these because the recipe doesn't say. So we're just gonna be winging it. So I'm gonna do the rest of these and then I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I have uh, made a mess here. Um, I have 16 that fit on this um, first cookie sheet. So my dough was also starting to get pretty um, sticky again. So I put it back in the refrigerator. Um, I'm going to put this first batch in the oven. It says to bake them for 12 to 13 minutes at 350. So I'm going to turn this around so the bent side is toward me. It'll be easier to pull it out. Again, I don't know if they're too close together. Uh-oh, that one ball rolled. We better roll it back. Yeah, I try to get all my balls the same size, but I'm not sure. So we'll see how that goes and I'll get the next tray. All right, so I got 25 total balls, which means I must have picked about the right ball size for these to be. Um, this is my second tray here. And then the first tray has been in for about um, eight minutes and that's what they're looking like. It looks like I have a few that started touching. Um, I, I think they probably aren't going to get much bigger around. So I was worried about them, you know, going off the edge, but I don't think they're going to do that. So a few more minutes and we'll check these again. All right. So it's been about 14, 13 ish minutes. And so I'm going to take these out and put the second tray in. Let these start cooling. Mm. It says to let these cool on the cookie sheet for um, about three minutes, and so they have been. Um, and then it says transfer them to a cooling rack. So I've got one real cooling rack and one homemade cooling rack that is my toaster oven thing propped up with some cups. All right, so we're going to scoop these off. Nice and easy. I wonder what the bottom looks like if they're too done or not done enough on the bottom. I kind of like a soft cookie. Ooh, they are very soft. That's what the bottom looks like. Maybe could have cooked a little bit longer, but I definitely didn't want them to be overdone. And one of the thing with cake batter cookies is they're usually a softer cookie to begin with. So I'm gonna finish putting these on the cooling rack. So these have been on the cooling rack for a little over an hour. So it's time for the plating. And I'm gonna plate one and eat one. So this one here that's broken, I'll use that one. So we'll put it on our plate. Make sure we get all the little pieces. And get a nice cold glass of milk. And there we go.